So if you find yourself mounting things in walls a lot and working with a lot of sheetrock, then I'd recommend checking out this little piece of hardware here. It's called the Fisher Duo Blade S. Here's the packaging if you're looking for it. And basically what it is, it's a wall mounting technology, a wall mounting system, an anchor system, whatever you want to call it. And it's from Fisher, who's experts in wall mounting. And they make a lot of cool mounting hardware. It's, a, it's an interesting company to check into if you haven't seen them before. I think they're bigger in Europe than they are in the US. Here's some of the specs if you really want to kind of geek out about it. Basically what it is, it's a high-end version of this. This is, you know, I don't know, 50 pound anchor. And we've all used these before. They're cheap, they're easy to use. They're better than just, you know, putting a screw in the, in the sheetrock, obviously. But you know, they, they strip out really easily. Even if you're using the right screwdriver, they strip out. It's easy to make the hole too big. If, if you have to take one out and put it back in, usually you can't use the same hole. It, it's a headache, right, these things? But they get the job done and they're pretty affordable. Fisher has tried to go ahead and upgrade that anchor system with this, the Duo Blade. First of all, we have a metal piece of hardware here for making that initial hole. You know, most of us just kind of jam a, an awl or a screwdriver or something in the wall. Now you could turn this in with this sharpened little pitchfork thing here. Works pretty well. Not great, but it works pretty well. It will make the hole the right size. Then you put it here, kind of get a little bit of traction. And now you have this very cool serrated blade piece to start screwing in. It works out pretty well. Here we have the piece that you screw into, the, the equivalent of right here, which is where most anchors fail. Again, those little that threading, sorry, those little, uh, that little cross in there, that strips, right? We all know that. Here you have your really nice system here. It's better secured inside. It's made of, it says it over here, it has glass fiber power. Uh, basically, it's a little bit stronger than the plastic you're used to. I will say I have stripped a few of these. It's not perfect. I experimented with some thicker particle, uh, sorry, some thicker uh, sheetrock. I experimented with making the hole a little bit too small, then just trying to crank it in either with a big screwdriver or an impact. And I stripped out a few of these. It, it's not perfect. And if you're doing a tough overhead mounting or something like that, it will fail. It won't fail as often as one of these cheap guys, but it will fail. It's not perfect, but it's a lot tougher. This, these serrations, they make a much cleaner entry. So I do like that. This front piece, again, this is pretty much indestructible. So that is nice. And when you have to put your screw in there, it's a little bit harder to get in here. Like you, it's a trade-off, right? This has a softer plastic, so it fails more on entry. This has a harder plastic, so it's harder to get the screw in there sometimes. That just kind of comes with the territory. Looking at the specs here, it's uh, 34 kilograms. Like I said, it's typically European. So it's at 85 pounds-ish or so. So you get good hanging weight. I usually use 75 pound anchors. So that's pretty much on par. 25 of them, I think cost about 15 bucks, maybe 16 bucks, something like that. So they're pretty expensive. You would save money if you buy them locally off of Amazon. Uh, that just for the, the max weight will change based on the uh, thickness of what you're putting it into. So just keep that in mind. You know, and here's the specs here about, you know, what you should mount it in, how you should mount it, and what sort of, uh, you know, say so they recommend using a Posi Drive 2, not just, you know, whatever screwdriver you have lying around like most of us grab. And if you're using that PZ2, the chance you're going to strip it is much lower than if you're just grabbing, you know, your beat up old Phillips that you've been using for the last 15 years. So I would recommend kind of reading through instructions and, and kind of giving it a shot. It is cool. They do expand over here. You can see that you kind of push through that metal piece. That's done its job. Then you put the screw in there. The metal piece drops out, goes, you know, wherever it goes and you get the nice expansion. So you get a lot of security there. So that's pretty good. And then you can get in that a wall. You just have to take that screw out, obviously. So yeah, I've been using these for a bit and they are a bit expensive for me, but they're very cool. And, you know, someone coming along and upgrading these anchors, which, uh, you know, we all, you know, love and hate at the same time, uh, I thought was just a great idea and it's something I had to test for myself. And, I, you know, I like it a lot. Give it like an A minus. So it's better than it needs to be, uh, better than an anchor, but they are expensive and I can't buy them locally yet. So it's tough to find, but worth tracking down. Looks like they're made in Germany, so... I guess they're uh, maybe not super popular in the US yet. But yeah, Fisher Dual Blade S, you can find them online, Amazon, eBay, whatever, and you can track them down and they're worth testing out. Thanks for watching.